Barbara Eden starred as a 2,000-year-old genie alongside Larry Hagman as astronaut Tony Nelson in the TV series. Captain Nelson discovered her bottle washed up on a beach after landing off course. Genie summoned a rescue helicopter to save her new master, and then stowed away in his duffel bag. Despite a loyal following from 1965 to 1970, the show's ratings never surpassed 26th place. In a bid to boost ratings during the final season, network executives made a controversial decision that ultimately ruined the show's premise. Discover why Genie's bottle was sealed forever in this classic tale. Thank you. I wonder if a broken leg hurts much. Tony? I Dream of Genie featured Barbara Eden as a 2,000-year-old genie and Larry Hagman as the astronaut who discovers her. Initially aired on NBC, the series explored the comedic chaos Genie brought into Tony's life. This classic show captivated audiences with its mix of magic, humor, and colorful characters. Barbara Eden's portrayal of the mischievous yet lovable Genie, Genie, added a touch of enchantment to each episode. Larry Hagman's astronaut character, Tony, constantly found himself in amusing predicaments due to Genie's magical interventions. The dynamic between the two leads created a blend of fantasy and comedy that kept viewers entertained throughout the show's run. From Jeannie's iconic bottle to her signature head nods, the TV series left a lasting impression on pop culture, becoming a beloved classic that continues to charm audiences to this day. All right. <laughs> Why don't you unpack your... The show competed with ABC's Bewitched, aiming to captivate similar audience demographics through its fantastical and comedic premise. Despite having a strong viewer base from 1965 to 1970, the TV series struggled with ratings, never rising above 26th place. In the fifth season, NBC executives attempted to revitalize the TV series by altering its core premise, which ultimately led to its cancellation due to viewer dissatisfaction. Sidney Sheldon was inspired by the film The Brass Bottle to create a sitcom about a genie. Despite aiming for a brunette genie to differentiate from bewitched Samantha, Barbara Eden, a blonde, was ultimately cast. There we go. The TV series I Dream of Genie was the show produced with a low budget, which influenced its initial black and white presentation. Special effects like Genie's smoke were limited and creatively managed with dry ice and hidden fans. Anything? No, sir, you look just the same. During the production of I Dream of Jeannie, Barbara Eden faced personal challenges due to her pregnancy. The show made adjustments to her appearance and shooting style to accommodate this. Initially, network censors had no issues with Eden's costume. However, due to external media attention, they eventually mandated a more conservative appearance for her character. This classic TV series navigated these acting and production challenges and cultural sensitivities to ensure a successful production. He not only rained on it, General, he flooded it out. Doctor, I'm one. The TV series I Dream of Genie featured iconic locations and props like Genie's bottle, which served both functional and aesthetic purposes, becoming significant elements of the show. Larry Hagman, despite personal struggles with substance abuse, maintained a professional relationship on set. However, as the seasons progressed, he became increasingly difficult to work with, posing challenges for the cast dynamics. Uh, no! You must the intrusion, Major Nelson. In 1965, I Dream of Jeannie aired on NBC. In a surprising turn of events, the decision to marry Jeannie and Tony during the fifth season aimed at increasing ratings backfired and ultimately led to the show's cancellation. This move stripped away the essential element of sexual tension that had been central to the plot's dynamics. The show's intricate balance was disrupted and viewers were left wanting. The chemistry between Jeannie and Tony, which had propelled the series to success, was altered irreversibly. This unexpected twist in the storyline marked the beginning of the end for this classic series, as it veered away from the very foundation that had captivated audiences. I Dream of Genie faced its conclusion with this controversial choice, a decision that would alter the course of the show's legacy. The unintended consequences of this narrative shift were felt deeply by both fans and the production team, marking a significant turning point in the show's history. The system that college roommate and I had to work out. <laughs>
Monday night Roger, Tuesday night. Barbara Eden continued to engage with her role in subsequent TV specials and public events, maintaining the legacy of I Dream of Jeannie. Throughout the years following the show's initial run, she embraced opportunities to revisit her iconic character. Further solidifying the enduring popularity of the beloved series, fans delighted in seeing her reprising her role, experiencing the magic and charm that made the show a classic. This dedication to keeping the spirit of I Dream of Jeannie alive showcased the lasting impact of the show and its timeless appeal. Barbara Eden's commitment to her role and the show's legacy ensured that the enchanting world of Jeannie remained vibrant in the hearts of audiences, proving that some dreams truly never fade away. Thinking about getting married. Ah, excellent! Ah, it's about time! I knew you would soon. In 1965, a classic TV show called I Dream of Jeannie captured the hearts of many. Imagine discovering a magical genie who could grant your every wish. The show is set in a vibrant era filled with whimsical dreams and hilarious adventures. Its significance lies in the timeless appeal of fantasy and comedy blended into one delightful series. I Dream of Genie became a beloved part of television history, enchanting audiences with its fun and imaginative storyline. Its era marked a shift towards more lighthearted and fantastical themes on TV, providing a refreshing escape for viewers. With its iconic characters and magical premise, this classic holds a special place in the world of television entertainment. Ski darling. How did you get Jeannie to hate me? <laughs> it was terribly simple. When casting the 1965 TV series I Dream of Jeannie, each key actor was chosen after rigorous auditions and chemistry tests. Barbara Eden was picked for the role of Jeannie due to her charm and comedic timing, standing out among other contenders. Larry Hagman's role as Major Tony Nelson was secured after his impressive audition displaying the perfect mix of wit and charisma. Bill Daly was chosen for the part of Major Roger Healy for his natural comedic talents and great chemistry with Hagman. These pivotal moments define the casting of the show, setting the stage for the iconic ensemble that would bring the beloved series to life. Babe, what you been doing with me to loop the loop? <laughs> you need any help, Captain? No, no. The directorial vision behind the 1965 TV series, I Dream of Genie, was focused on bringing a blend of light-hearted comedy and magic to life on screen. The director drew creative influences from classic comedies and fantasy genres, aiming to create a whimsical and entertaining show. Their style was characterized by vibrant colors, playful camera angles, and comedic timing to enhance the magical elements of the story. The director collaborated closely with the cast and crew to ensure that the fantastical aspects of the show were portrayed convincingly, while also emphasizing the humorous interactions between characters. Together, they worked to create a cohesive and engaging world where the audience could escape into the magic of Genie's bottle. Oh, very nice. It's just... Uh... It's not quite what I'd expected. Yeah, well, I... In 1965, the TV series I Dream of Genie faced the challenge of creating captivating sets and locations for its magical storyline. The production team utilized innovative techniques to bring the show to life. The set design included vibrant and detailed rooms to showcase Genie's bottle and Tony Nelson's home. Locations such as Cocoa Beach, Florida, added authenticity to the character's surroundings. Logistical challenges arose from coordinating special effects and ensuring seamless transitions between indoor and outdoor scenes. Advanced technologies like green screens were employed to visualize Genie's powers. Despite these challenges, the production team successfully crafted a whimsical world for the show's fantastical elements to unfold. There are a lot of things, Major, a lot of things, but you're not an international smuggler. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1965 TV series I Dream of Genie were carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers and musicians involved in creating the music for the series aimed to complement the whimsical and magical nature of the storyline. The use of light, playful melodies, and dreamy instrumentals helped convey the fantasy elements of the show, adding depth to the characters and their adventures. By incorporating a mix of upbeat tunes and romantic themes, the music brought out the humor, romance, and charm of I Dream of Genie, making it a memorable aspect of the viewing experience. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll, I'll be with you in just a minute as soon as I finish these correlations. In an iconic scene from the 1965 TV series, I Dream of Genie, the direction by show creator Sidney Sheldon shines as Genie, played by Barbara Eden, surprises Major Nelson in his astronaut capsule. 
The performance by Eden perfectly captures Jeannie's playful yet powerful nature, adding depth to her character. The cinematography expertly conveys the magical atmosphere as Jeannie materializes out of thin air, captivating the audience. Captivating the audience. Actor Larry Hagman's reaction as Major Nelson showcases a mix of shock and amusement, highlighting the chemistry between the two leads. According to Eden, filming this scene was both challenging and exciting as it set the tone for Jeannie's mischievous persona throughout the series. This moment has left a lasting impact on viewers, solidifying I Dream of Jeannie as a beloved classic. If the money is yours, why do you not take it out of the bank? Well, my father, Mr. Walsenham, happens to be the president of that very... I Dream of Jeannie had a significant cultural and social impact. The show resonated with audiences by showcasing a mix of fantasy, comedy, and romance. Jeannie's character, a beautiful and magical genie who falls in love with an astronaut, captivated viewers, and became an iconic figure in popular culture. The series influenced pop culture by introducing elements of fantasy and magic into television, inspiring future shows with similar themes. Additionally, I Dream of Jeannie contributed to discussions on gender roles and relationships in the 1960s, as Jeannie's character challenged traditional ideas of women's roles and independence. The show's light-hearted humor and fantastical elements provided viewers with an escape from reality and a glimpse into a whimsical world. Overall, I Dream of Jeannie left a lasting impact on television and society, becoming a timeless classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. Trip home. <laughs> I Dream of Jeannie, the 1965 TV series, received mixed critical reception upon its release. While some praised its humor and Barbara Eden's performance as Jeannie, others found the premise to be silly and lacking depth. Audience reactions were more positive, with many viewers enjoying the comedic elements and the chemistry between the characters. Despite the varied critical reception, I Dream of Jeannie garnered a loyal fan base and achieved commercial success during its run. The series did not win major awards but received several nominations, including two Emmy nominations for Barbara Eden's portrayal of Jeannie. For those involved in the show, these accolades meant recognition for their work and talent. While not receiving widespread critical acclaim, the nominations and positive audience feedback validated the efforts of the cast and crew in bringing Jeannie's magical world to life. Overall, I Dream of Jeannie may not have been a critical darling, but its impact on popular culture and enduring popularity among fans solidified its place in television history. Master? Ma Master? Uh, what are you going on your air? During the filming of I Dream of Jeannie, the chemistry between Barbara Eden and Larry Hagman was so strong that they often improvised scenes, adding an extra layer of charm to the show. Despite the show's lighthearted nature, the crew had to work hard to bring Jeannie's magical world to life using clever camera tricks and special effects to create the iconic bottle scenes. Barbara Eden, known for her professionalism, once filmed an entire episode while suffering from a high fever, showcasing her dedication to the role. The set was a lively place, with constant laughter and playful antics between the cast and crew, creating a fun and happy atmosphere that translated onto the screen. The success of the show was not just due to the script and acting but also to the camaraderie, and passion shared by everyone involved in making I Dream of Jeannie a beloved classic. Healy, the secret is out and you never said a word. No, sir, of course, if you talk about it, it isn't a secret. <laughs> what, uh, what, what secret? The TV series I Dream of Jeannie holds a significant place in film history as a classic sitcom from 1965. Its influence on future filmmaking can be seen in its use of fantastical elements and lighthearted humor. The show inspired subsequent works that explored similar themes of magic and whimsy in a comedic context. Despite its age, I Dream of Jeannie continues to be remembered fondly by audiences for its charming characters and entertaining storylines. Well, congratulations. Have you ever watched I Dream of Jeannie and felt transported back in time? This classic TV series from 1965 captured the hearts of many with its charming characters and whimsical storyline. We invite you to share your experiences and memories of this beloved show. How did it impact you? Did it influence your views on cinema? Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more exciting cinematic explorations. Your stories can inspire others and keep the magic of I Dream of Genie alive.
Well, most sweet of you, but if you'd change me back to my youthful self, I'd be very grateful. I do not think so. <laughs>